The Pentagon is weaponizing social media to be used as targeting telemetry for lethal autonomous weapons or laws operating on hive mind swarm technology. We are heading into dangerous times. The 2015 Jade Helm 15 exercise was a covert system rollout for AI driven software to identify and target suspected hostiles using a technique called human terrain mapping to analyze activity-based intelligence based on parameters developed by human cartographers. They've now built a better mousetrap. The DOD recently declassified its plans to use all forms of captured communication as well as all information gathered from social media platforms as telemetry data for aut autonomous AGI-driven systems to determine threats to government i.e. the military, which is the intelligence and enforcement arm of the government, on an individual or community basis, and to deploy lethal force to neutralize these presupposed threats. Autonomous warfare has just crossed the Rubicon with regard to distinctions between civilians and combatants. We'll go through a brief rundown of the DOD Human System Roadmap Review, which outlines their strategy for using lethal autonomous weapons, robots, and military cyber teams to identify and eliminate civilian and non-civilian targets in the emerging laws theater. I'll post the entire 53-page DOD presentation, complete with explanations and clarification of the terminology and acronyms on the level9news.com website, complete with additional research and supporting documentation. The Human Systems Community of Interest Vision and Goals stated, integrated simulations for mission training and experimentation. This was the Jade 2 system rollout portion of the Jade Helm 15 exercise um, was testing. Now it goes on to say, intelligent and adaptive aiding. This is artificial general intelligence they're referencing here. Exploiting social data, dominating human terrain for effective engagement. This is the battle plan to master the human domain. Under operational concept, it states that integrative persistent live virtual constructive training environments. This was Jade Helm 15. The third offset, autonomous learning systems, delegating decisions to machines in applications that require faster than human reaction times. This is a full autonomous warfare system. It is AGI driven battle planning. And we'll skip down to the network-enabled autonomous weapons hardened to operate in a future cyber EW environment. EW stands for Electronic Warfare, allowing for cooperative weapon concepts in communications-denied environments. Now, they're talking about cross-platform capable AGI operating on hive mind or hive intelligence protocols. The technology um, developed for uh, Google's Project Loon, as well as others, will provide the communications in an infrastructure where none exists. Continuing along the third offset, learning machines. Mapping your mind. They will be creating digital profiles on everyone to be analyzed and categorized by the autonomous system into desirable and undesirable groups. The system will be aware of ABI being collected on everyone. And under uh, the learning machines, they're talking about creating computational models of human cognitive, psychomotor, and perceptual capabilities. This is system awareness, total system awareness. Human-machine collaboration, intuitive, multisensory adaptive interfaces and natural language interfaces. Intuitive means predict and preempt. Multisensory data will be collected from surveillance cameras, 
biometric scanners, NFC devices that can scan your IDs, credit cards, etc. Natural language interfaces can be used to spoof communications of an entire COI or community of interest, as well as manipulate media broadcasts. <clears throat> Under autonomous weapons, it states that systems can take action when needed, and architectures for autonomous agents and synthetic teammates will be needed. They're talking about fully autonomous warfare systems. Now, this represents further enhancements of the Jade 2 AI or AGI driven autonomous warfare program. DARPA, Boston Dynamics, and BBN Technology will be key players in this. Synthetic teammates are robots, drones, and cybernetic units. Now, down here on the bottom, they felt it necessary to highlight the fact that and experiments using realistic mission scenarios. <clears throat> this was Jade Helm 15. This was the system rollout of the J2 AGI driven autonomous warfare system. Also, Trident Juncture 15 was um, a, a focused and targeted experiment using um, social media to develop target telemetry. Service demand signals. Maintain air superiority over complex evolving threats using adaptive training. Now, this is talking about drones running swarm based intelligence platforms. System des um, design systems to enable effective human machine interaction, including robotics and autonomous systems. In this context, interaction means interface between human and machines. Uh, for more information about this, you should read my report on Dar DARPA's RAM program. Outreach highlights. NASA participation in HSCOI, cross-agency participation in National Science and Technology Council Network and Information Technology Subcommittees. Um, this is, this initiative, this strategy is being supported by Obama's XO on HPC and the creation of the National Strategic Computing Initiative, or NSCI, which he signed into law on July 29th, 2015, smack in the middle of the Jade Helm, uh, Jade 2 system rollout. When they found out from a hardware standpoint, they're gonna need a bigger bat. The budget for this is a blank check, as it will be funded based on the needs of government. Now, under international engagement, it states that the Singapore HSCOI workshop is uh, leading to uh, mind death DOD human systems roadmap. The Singapore, this is uh, what they're talking about here, is the Singapore Ministry of Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense. Uh, TTCP will require strong participation in human performance, C31 groups. TTCP uh, is the Technical Cooperation Program. Um, it also states that there will be a need for restructured HUM to focus on transition opportunities, and that's hardware utilization matrices. <clears throat> now, under the COI to COI collaborations, it states under C41SR, that human-computer interaction, or HCI, for decision-making subgroup seedling proposal funded for two years in 2015. Now, the Jade Helm um, realistic military training exercise from July through September of 2015 was predicated on this. They are moving forward weaponizing AI. Now, the CWMD, which is Combating Weapons of Mass Destructions, claims that dark web concerns social network analyses and counterterrorism research will be required. Now, the dark net and Tor browsers concern them as people on them are difficult to geolocate. Social media platforms will be used f um, against you for intelligence gathering purposes. As you can see in this slide here, they're projecting a 
million dollar COI budget, um, which will have a broad impact on several of these areas. Now, under the Human Systems uh, Community of Interest sub-area, near future, they're claiming uh, uh, competency-based for full spectrum rapid updates, adaptive training accelerates learning. Now, wars will be conducted not by generals, but by systems running AGI on the global information grid and on the IoT to achieve full spectrum dominance of the human terrain. The near future statement here under personnel, integrated measures and adaptive testing for more precise assessment of individual potential basically is talking about man-machine integration and enhancements. Now this slide here under thrust one, first principles for training, uh, delivering the mission, key technical challenges, delivering capability, and the entire program overview, these are all components of the J2 AI-driven autonomous warfare system that operates on the global information grid using geospatial intelligence. Now as we fly through these slides, I want you to pay special attention to this legend over here. The dark pink um, is fully funded. The light pink, these areas here, are not fully but partially funded. As it, and as you can see, although they're claiming to achieve their goals by 2020, 2025, many of the segments of these programs are fully funded through 2020. Um, and some even fully funded through 2025. So this new laws system is fully underway. Thrust two, personnel selection and assignment. It states that existing models are stovepiped and based on group probabilities. The, now the enhanced version of the J2 system will narrow this down to individuals. It states that maintaining our competitive edge in human capital, force of future, this is human military inventory. Improved performance and retention with an emphasis on critical specialties through advancements in talent assessments. This basically um, means a migration to a technology-based versus a strategy-based military force. And under program overview, it says leverage training, S&T competency, which is scientific and technical. So they want to leverage the scientific and technical over and above the human decision-making factors.